This is Nobi versus Butts. <laughs> Butts. All right, I'm down to watch this. Damn, why'd you guys time him out? Don't time him out. Uh, whatever. Someone bring him back, will ya? Though he does deserve it for our spamming. Anyway. I'm ready. This is Nobisan. Of course you know who he is. Former Evo champion. Versus Butts. And of course this is Shooty's YouTube. Check it out. Japanese Tekken. Oh shit, motorcycle. Oh god. Look at these butterfly wings. He should be DQ'd. DQ this guy. Oh, blue spark. I'm rooting for fucking butts. You got this. I'm a butt guy today. Boom. Get him. Oh, almost. Oh, beautiful turnaround punch. That's what I'm talking about. I'm a butts guy today. Get him. For those stupid butterfly wings. Man. Sidestepping. Oh, another blue spark. Let me try this combo out. I dropped it. Oh, well. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm getting hype about this butts guy. What's that in his hand? <laughs> what is that thing in his hand? <laughs> I just noticed that thing right now. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, I like butts because he's using a default outfit. And then I noticed that he's holding that in his hand and I'm like, is that something that Horang holds in his hand in his default outfit? What could that thing be in his hand? <laughs> I think it's a customizable uh, item. It's not a default item. Maybe there's some lore explaining why he's holding a, a fish. Sheesh. Okay. That's a fish. Alright, here we go. He's got a fish. I hope he wins. Because I think at least he's just using a fish instead of butterfly wings and the weird hat and all this other bullshit, right? There you go. Look at this offense. Blue sparks everywhere. I got a fish in my hand, bitch, and my name's Butts. Ooh. Oh, big damage. Excuse me. Oh, man. I'm liking this match. Butts is on point. I'm liking what I'm seeing from Butts. Blue Spark, he's collecting them. Another turnaround punch. Ooh, I didn't I didn't know it does that. He has a crumple stun. Oh man, are you watching this combo? Did you see that combo damage? Let's go back. Wow. What did it start with? Oh, uh, blue spark uppercut. All right, all right. Boom, boom. Wall carry. Ouch. That is crazy damage. Horang's going to be a beast of a character in this game. See how, like, it just seems like Japanese players are so much more active and aggressive, and they use more moves, too. More variety of move choice, less about movement, and more about just tactics and like strategies. And stuff. Use of moves, I feel like, is a big deal, big difference. Damn, nobody's getting his fucking ass kicked. Butts is on point. Nice work. Oh shit, thanks for following. Dasui, see you. So show. Good shit. <laughs> that should be my follow thing. Some anime shit. Sugoi. Round one. Fight. Alright, whoop him up. Butts, give it to him. 
Uh oh. Nobi is so confident with his down twos. That shit is not that safe to do. Seems like he places them so well though. Regular one. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Look at these combos. While standing 4 4. And he gets Okazumi like that. That is cheesy. <gasps> chickened it? He chickened it. That was sick. You see, this is what I'm talking about. This is where Galaxini's fucking up. Galaxini does not use the Rage Drive. And Rage Drive is great. It's a normal hit launcher. It's plus on block. And if it hits in the air, it juggles. Now. Ooh, not in the back. Steps on him. Oh my god, he's gotten hit by so many blue spark uppercuts. Whoa. Whoa. Man, that turnaround punch has really gotten a lot of uh, use in this set. Oh, again! Did they, did they buff that? I feel like that turnaround punch is super good now. It never was that good. Avoiding everything. Hope I'm not getting allergies. The trade. Look at this. Oh, he wants that back turn throw. That's weird. It's big damage, but I don't know why he's going for it so much. Running two. Good block. Ouch. Ooh. That looked like it was going to be a counter hit. Counter hit? Oh, what the hell is Novi doing? That was weird. He had a kill combo there. Maybe he thought it would kill. Hmm. Wow. I wonder why he did that. Troop roll after back 1 plus 2. Every decision that he makes, I'm questioning in terms of whether it's something I don't know about. Because, you know, it's such a new game. I don't know what the logic is behind some of these choices. And sometimes they do things that there really is no logic behind it. He just did that, right? Ah, sometimes it's hard to tell whether there's meaning behind it or whether he just did it. Get ready for the next battle. Alright, let's keep this, uh, let's keep this, uh, I want to, I want the other guy to do well. I like watching Horang. Uh, but Dragonoff is also cool too. I'm down. I'm, I feel like I'm learning a lot in this match because right now, obviously, my best character in Tekken 7 by far would be Dragonoff. Just because he's the character I have the most, uh, situational knowledge with. Wow, look at that. Ooh, he's doing all kinds of weird shit. Oh, no way. Look at what just happened there. This is a big buff for Dragonoff. Historically, in this scenario, the wall is to Dragonoff's right. And that means that up forward four becomes a launcher. But, historically, you had to do an instant wall standing four. And now, all you have to do is down two wall standing four, which is a buff that he received. Down two while standing four gives you a full combo, and it never did historically. That's really buff. That means that he gets full combo off of a block slide easily. He used to have to do a crouch cancel, and there's there's a lot of other shit too. There's a quite a, quite a few uh, situations where he got buffed in the juggle department because of that change. That's a big change. Down two. Is it going to be a Rage Drive win? Oh, never mind. Just the wall splat. Round three. Fight. Ugh. Blue sparks everywhere. What's the damage going to be? He just fucked it up. He got that much damage with a fucked up combo. He didn't even finish the combo. That's ridiculous. We need to nerf this guy. Get rid of him. Horang? Get rid of him. Oh man, that really is... I'm stunned. So 4-3-2 is now going to be an extremely good whiff punish near the wall because it's a launcher. It's a natural combo and it wall splats. That is so good. I gotta experiment with that. Ouch. Nice punish. Ooh. 
running two out of nowhere on hit. After being hit by a down three, you're a madman. He's a madman. And it was the rage drive that won it. I want to see that again. I looked away. He interrupted his rage drive and it was a blue running two that got it. way nobody plays it makes you want to slug it out with him which is of course his forte interesting what's up lord jimmy j tran how's it going everybody else i feel like he's he's pretty unpredictable with his choices and also like it's hard to explain his choices sometimes i guess he's just a party animal he does some weird shit though sometimes. Nice. Wall carry, side wall. Ah, oh, interesting choices. I like that. Position change and almost a kill. Wow, that was fucked up. That was such a great option. He turned around, it hit him on the way up, but if he had late. What the hell? No pants? <laughs> What are the chances of that? What are the chances of that? No pants just followed? This is a YouTube video. Did you know that you followed during this? That's crazy. That's super weird. <laughs> weird. Anyway. Alright, no pants. Thanks for following. This shit's a YouTube video. Weird. This shit's rigged. Yeah, I know it's from a stream, but it's just weird that... Anyway, whatever. Who gives a shit? Mm. I cannot wait for this shit to come out. Nice. Back 4-3. Give me the combo. The classic? Oh, what are you doing? Come on, man. What do you think this is? You think that's gonna work? Man, he does that a lot. <laughs> and it works a lot. He sure does a lot, though. Let's see what he gets. Man, good combo. Man, he's on fire right now. Uh oh. This is the rally opportunity. Oh, you're dead. One block and you're toast. Give him the shoulder. Down forward two with punish? Look, look what we have here. Boom, boom. Into the wall. Nice. Oh, homing move? What are you sidestepping about? Blue running two? Damn, he really blocks that. Like, look at the block animation. Damn, he, he, he puts you into Art of Phoenix when you block that. <laughs> Forced Art of Phoenix. Boom! Don't ever try to block that. And he still fucked it up. That was such a all-in choice there. Down forward one, four. What are you doing, man? You had him with the blue running two. I think it's actually running one plus two. But he went in all-in with the down forward one, four. He could have done just down forward one and then, like, uh, used the down forward... 1-4 existing to get something to happen there. I don't know. Could have... I don't know. Played a little more conservative, right? Either way, I, I like that he's using the Rage Drive, for sure. Galaxini does not do enough Rage Drive. Galaxini, he's got to step up the Rage Drive. I think that Rage Drives are a big deal. From all the matches I've seen, that I feel like Rage Drives just win matches. That shit happens all the time. When the person's abusing it, they win with it every time. Just do it. Don't die with it. I feel like rage drives remind me of super turbo supers. Like, you don't want to die with your super in super turbo, you know? You just fucking do that shit. While that's not exactly the case with rage arts. In this game, the supers or the rage arts, 
It just doesn't seem like it's what it's all about. I heard Dragonox Rage Drive is something really small on block, like plus one or two. Is that true? Because you know what? Uh, I I won that tournament against uh, uh, Anakin by using that move, and I did Rage Drive into down back three, and it counter hit. I don't remember what he did. Maybe he did something real slow. Or maybe he did duck while standing two or one or something. But I just remember hitting with a counter hit down back three after he blocked my running rage drive. So I'm not sure what the data is on it, but it can't be... You think it's worse? Is it supposed to be worse than a regular running two? No way. I don't think so. It doesn't seem... It doesn't feel worse to me. It feels good. Like when you hit them with the running blue running two, they really seem like they're in a lot of block stun. Ooh, delayed hop kick? Ugly. Counter hit delayed hop kick? Jesus. Oh my god. Ouch. Yeah, I think back one plus two and running two got buffed in this game for Dragon Hawk on block. By frame data, they got buffed. But they got nerfed in terms of uh, launch, you know, launching airborne. They used to be bound moves. But now if you jump, they just spike you. Forces crouch, but still only plus one or so. Forces crouch is a pretty big deal, though. But that's interesting. Maybe that's what it is. It forces crouch. Running two doesn't force crouch. While running 2 is plus 5, back 1 plus 2 is plus 6. That's a lot. But I suspect the reason... Oh my god. The damage is crazy. I suspect that the reason they did that, that was a beatdown. He blew his back out. Jesus Christ. Okay, so he's gonna come back. I think the reason they did that is probably because those moves used to be airborne bound moves. But now... They don't do shit on airborne. But I don't know if that's true. Just my guess. Wow. There's Nobi with his crazy ideas again. Crazy get rich quick schemes from Nobi. Come on, man. Running two. Third hit, not gonna fall for it. Nice delay on that. Ooh, wait a minute. That knocks down now? What the hell? Call it call the cops. That knocks down now. So Dragonoff's rage uh sorry, his power crush move can wall splash? What the fuck? Dragonoff's buff, dude. I didn't know that. That's great. That's really cheap. That means he can pressure at the wall and use the uh power crush. To wall splat. That's crazy. Butts barely ever uses flamingo mix-ups. Yeah, I mean, uh, he uses them, right? I guess he uses stance mix-ups a lot, but... There's some flamingo mix-ups right there. Man, this is crazy. Oh, that's the new just frame thing, right? That's a natural combo if you land the just frame or something like that. I don't know what it is if you don't land the just frame, though. It's probably punishable. Or maybe something. Oh, see? That strategy is good right there. We, you know, he's going for the rage. Uh, not rage. I keep thinking rage drive, but it's a uh, power crush. He keeps going for that power crush to get the wall splat. And I think that's a great idea. It didn't work there, but it was too obvious. But it's a great idea. Oh, big whiff. He could have got launched. I feel like Butts was doing way more blue spark uh, jet... Uh, what's it called? Uh, just frame skyrockets. Earlier he was getting a lot of damage with those just frame skyrockets. But he's not doing them that much. Second hit. 
Nugget. Big damage throw. Ouch. Damn. <laughs> Just down forward two out of nothing. And he's got very low health, so this might kill. Oh. His health is very low, so that means the rage art is gonna do exceptionally high damage. Look at the damage. Into wake ups at the wall. And look at the lead from that. Okay, let's see what Novi gets here. I like the sidestep. Oh, I love that. That's the classic Tekken 6. Oh. Okay, what the fuck was that? He went for his rage drive and he got counter hit out of it. Interesting. So if he had done a super there, it would have won. If he had done a rage art, it would have won. But because he did a rage drive, he got hit out of it and didn't get anything. 